Hey everyone, this is Andrew, and in this video we're going to talk about the raspy, screaming, yelping from the end of the song Eulogy by the band Tool. Um, I think I might have talked this before in the past, but this is going to be the only video dedicated to that scream, uh, slash raspy part. A lot of people think it's actually a scream, but it really is just a note with some rasp on it. And I wanted to talk about how you get that kind of sound, because it sounds just like a gnarly scream that lasts forever, when really it's just a note with some rasp on it. <clears throat> and... The way he gets that kind of tone is he does a kind of nasally, head voicey note, and then just add rasp to it. It creates a very closed, like, trapped in your mouth sound to it. It's almost like muffled, but it, it sounds cool for the metal-y kind of hard rock stuff. Um, so, it's like some the note somewhere along like, God, bye! It's, that's the note, sang a head voice, something like that. So first, try to get that tone. Keep it very nasally, keep it very heady. So, good bye, as opposed to good bye. That would be like pulling chest slash bad tone. Um, you could also do like good bye, which is a little different. You want it to have it that heady good bye. It's very easy to do it without the rasp, and it's important because that can give a very different tone than from doing it in head voice or more open. Sorry, for doing it in chest voice or more open head voice. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate it, but first I'll show you how to kind of evolve. So you get that good bye, good bye, good bye. And the rasp is very easy to put on that, that tone. So it makes it a little easier versus pulling chest or doing the kind of more open head voice when you're adding the rasp. So a good bye. And I'm kind of mixing the notes a little bit, but I'm going to do it with the song in a sec. Um... With the part in front of it, just so you can see what I mean. So here we go. Hopefully the volumes are good. To ascend, you must die. You must be crucified for our sins and our lies. God, bye. enough of that um anyways it's a fun part and it's a fun part to sing um and it's kind of consider like a lot of people who look online type in the end of you people are like oh my god that note's so amazing and it's really not that hard to get um not everyone's gonna sound like maynard i don't think i sound like maynard um people have different vocal cavities and levels of practice and different tones that different voices produce so just because my voice doesn't sound like maynard doesn't mean the technique is somewhat different um but however i found that when I sing through that part, I get that note much more consistent um, tone-wise and both actually hitting the notes and getting the rasp to sound um, versus if I sing it in different ways. So for you, it might be a little bit different, but in my experience, which is really all I can ever say as far as the scream and rasp goes, uh, doing it in that kind of tone gives me a better result. Um, and I hope that the audio in this phone is good enough to capture that and show you that. Um, as far as holding out the note, that's just practice. Uh, you gotta just look up vocal breathing exercises, vocal breath control, you will find limited amounts of stuff on the web. Books, videos, whatever. Um, so anyways, if you enjoyed this video, um, like it, or subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll try to help. Or if you have any other parts in songs that you want to hear covered, um, I can do a similar thing, like a quick three to five minute tutorial on a specific thing in a song. It's very easy. If I already know the song, I can do it anytime. Um, <laughs> so let me know. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.